Hello good farmers, welcome to another Grown Up Farming video. Today we'll be taking a look at what I'd consider a forgotten farm. Um, I did go over this a little bit ago, or not too long ago I should say. Uh, it's been probably close to a month now, but... Pet Route in Nagitar. It's pretty good. Um, if you manage to get a pet anyways. If you don't manage to get a pet, then it can be a little bit disappointing, but... Um, just note that if you do this every day, then you have a higher chance of getting a pet, and your efforts should be worth it after a little while. So, a couple things to note about this route are, if you are a miner slash herbalist, then you should definitely be able to get quite a bit more gold from this if you pick up the Xenanthid and Osmite ore that you find coming across the route. Um... I don't have my mining or herbalism up anymore. I need to go retrain it. Um, all I have to do is go spend like a thousand gold and I can get all the stuff back I needed. Uh, but I just forgot to do it when I got here and I didn't really want to go back and do it. Um, but yeah, you can get a decent amount of Zenanthid and Osmonite ore from doing these routes. I had come across quite a bit, but I didn't pick any of it up because again, I didn't remember to learn my uh, BFA mining and herbalism so there is that um, this route can take you anywhere between 20 minutes to a good hour hour and a half depending on how many rares you find and how quickly you can burn the rares down um, another thing I'd like to note about this is not only are you going to be killing rares and having a chance of getting pets but you also have a chance of getting the prismatic mana pearls, which you can use to buy a pet too. So, let's go take a look at that. I gotta remember where to go to buy that pet. Um, but if I remember right, you can buy a pet for like 50 prismatic mana pearls. And you can get roughly, I, I'd have to say, I've gotten probably close to 20 of them so far. So probably close to 20 to 50 a day by okay, doing this, fine. so. How are you? Not this one. Open for business. Farewell. See what can be of use. Say what you need. The waters have much to offer. Alright, it's 150 mana pearls, guys. My bad. But, still, you should be able to see this in probably a week. I'm not going to say three or four days, but you should definitely be able to see this in about a week if you have enough rares pop up for you. Um, I don't know how much this pet sells for, so let's go ahead and buy it, because we do have enough mana pearls. So... Let's go ahead and learn that. We can sell it for 4.5k it looks like, which isn't too great, but it's not bad either. Um, so, just keep in mind that's a little bit of extra gold. I would highly recommend running this route on a mining slash herbalist, just so that way you can make a little bit of gold off of this route. Um, I do know it'll definitely increase the amount of time you spend running it. But it'll probably be worth it later on because it's better to get a little bit of gold rather than no gold. So, um, keep that in mind while running this route as well. Um, again, you can do this daily. So, you could always park a character here and just run it daily if you really wanted to. I have gotten a pet to drop from for me once, maybe twice. I don't remember the name of the pet or anything like that. It was the one that you get from... Um, I want to say it's this guy. No, it's this guy up here. Um, I was able to get the pet to drop from him, and it sold for quite a bit. I don't remember if I actually sold it or if I still have it in my pet journal, but... <laughs> Either way, it was like a 20k pet or something like that, so... Something pretty nice to just kind of do it's pretty relaxing to do it you know it's not 
like you're stressing over anything outside of maybe competition here and there. Uh, but these rares respawn and all of that. Um, again, you can only kill them once a day though, so um, just keep that. That's a major factor in this farm, just keep that in mind. Another thing that you can do while here in Nashatar, this takes, I believe it was a week. Uh, let me finish you on this really, really quick. It would take about a week. And you could find... A little crystals up alongside the water or waterfalls and you give these crystals to here's one you give these little crystals to gotta find one there's one over here but you just give them to someone and or something and you will have a chance of getting one of seven pets. I believe it was seven pets anyways. I really don't remember all of the details on this farm. But um, you have a chance of getting another pet that I don't think anybody's doing. So uh, the pets are probably worth a good amount by now. So just another little thing to keep in mind while running this route. Uh, be sure to look for those. Don't remember exactly where this guy spawns in at. But yeah, either way, if you haven't checked out my Patreon page yet, then my first tier is to support me. My second tier is to uh, get exclusive content. And then my third tier is for me to personally teach you how to make some gold, hopefully enough for a wild token. Uh, anyways, that is all for now, so thanks for watching, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.